Welcome to this week's VetVine Behavior Buds. This week, we're going to discuss a topic in the media regarding breaking up dog fights. We all know that you shouldn't stick your hand or any other body part between two dogs when they're fighting, but in the midst of a fight, it can be really difficult to stop yourself from stopping the fight. The good news is there are many ways that are much safer to stop a fight than sticking your hands in the way. For instance, for some dogs, many people find that it's effective to just call the dogs away or give a cue that the dogs already know. So if you know both dogs, and let's say they're both in your home, you can say, for instance, let's go for a walk or who wants a cookie? This can change the subject relatively quickly when dogs have been trained to know that that cue means something good. Sometimes families worry that they'll be reinforcing the fighting behavior doing this, but that's not an important concern in the moment of an emergency. The most important thing is to stop the fight. Another thing that can be really helpful is to actually grab a little glass of water and just shove it right on their faces and up their nose if you can. You can do it from a distance and an athletic water bottle works great for this. The reason that water works so well is one, a lot of people have it handy and two, it's totally safe. You know, you're not going to cause any medical problems from spraying dogs with water. And for many dog fights, it will actually stop them right in their tracks. And then you can use the change the subject like let's go for a walk, even if you don't actually go uh, so that you can then separate the dogs. Another option for dogs that have had particularly difficult fights or where you're quite concerned about whether you will actually be able to break up the fight is to use a product called Spray Shield, which is a concentrated citronella spray. And what you do in that case is spray in the general area of the dog's faces. But the important thing about using something like that is to make sure that you practice with it ahead of time because it actually sprays a lot further than you think. If you want to use something that's an actual tool that contains a propellant, like, for instance, a fire extinguisher, you really should practice ahead of time. And that's the case with the citronella spray as well. The great news about citronella spray is that it's very rarely going to cause any problems, and it will break up the vast majority of fights, even between dogs that are not known to each other. In addition, one thing that you should be aware of is while we shouldn't let dogs, quote unquote, fight it out, especially if they're known to each other and are in the same household because it can cause problems down the road and certainly can lead to injuries. The thing to keep in mind is that most dog fights are actually non-injury fights. It's really rare for a very noisy fight to cause injuries that are significant. So a lot of times they're going to blow over before you even have time to grab whatever tool you thought you were going to use to break it up. And that's this week's Behavior Buzz.